I so here's some finish. fucking karma. I did not, in fact, have to go kill anything. Well, I did have to kill some stuff on the way here. But I did not, in fact, have to go kill anything. That soul that I passed the first time that I just went and got was exactly 5,000 souls. Hmm. Isn't that fucking lovely? Oh, damn, I didn't even do it. The Witch of Isolith. Ugh. Was one of Ugh. Time evil bitch. Her power came you from just the soul said this five minutes ago. Flame. She focused this power to light a flame of her own. But she failed to control it. The flame of chaos engulfed mother and my sisters and molded them into deformed creatures. Only I escaped. And now I am here. But my mother and sisters have been in anguish since. I beseech you. Free mother and my sisters from the flame of chaos. I cannot do it myself. I lack the strength and the bravery. But you. I realize what I am asking. But please, free their poor souls. Mother's ambitions were misguided, no doubt. But surely a thousand years of atonement is enough. It's not. But yeah, I'm gonna buy this now just for fucking, just because I did it. Because I did it to get that now shit. Go. God. God. Actually, I don't need to, why am I doing? I don't need to walk back. I made sure I never rested at a bonfire, so I'm just go I'm going straight back to the demon ruins. We're gonna bring on Soleri to help us with the centipede demon. I hate this fight. Two fights that I hate, but three fights that I hate in a row. Damn, this entire area sucks, doesn't it? I hate the centipede demon fight because ah, uh, I probably could have just gotten this one too. This is a soul too, I think. Yep, that's five thousand as well. I am very good at knowing my surroundings, knowing the options available, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, this fight is really irritating just for the... Be like, the entire fight is not irritating, but the beginning of it is irritating. Because he'll... The centipede demon will stand at a distance and just do this attack where he just throws his arm at you over and over and over. There's really not enough time after he throws the arm. Like, the arm does stay there for a very short period of time. But not really long enough to uh, have any kind of, of way to attack it. And so you kind of just have to like hope that he stops doing that attack. And comes in far enough to you know, switch his AI around to do regular melee attacks that you can actually hit him during. Because obviously, walking out into the lava is not exactly the brightest, best option you have available to you. It is possible to get the orange charred ring without beating the centipede demon. What happens is if you cut off his arm, his arm separates into, I think, two different dudes. And killing one of them drops the orange charred ring and then that allows you to run out into the lava normally if you equip it mid-fight, which is kind of not a good idea. But anyway. So I kind of just try to stand over here and just I just hope. Because you're going to see it numerous times. See right here. And like, yeah, it's just, there's no real time there. Oh, cool, it already, that's awesome. Thank you for that. Oh, and I cut it off at two attacks, and now he's dead. That should be the orange charred ring. Hey! Oh, shit. So, uh, this right now, oh, I'm gonna get grabbed. I did not get grabbed. I got grabbed. <laughs> I thought I got away from it. It's not gonna kill me, it should do about half my health. Oh, that did nothing! Wow. Shout out to my mashing, I guess. Why did I heal? There's no there's not even any point to uh shit, I don't know what attack that is. Damn it, I was hoping I would be able to hit it. He didn't quit it, baby! He didn't quit it. When's he coming down? I don't know that timing. Oh, I'm in the lava! I'm not in the lava. How did that not damage me? I was in the lava. I was most certainly in the lava. Like, I even I can't deny that shit. And I will deny everything. Thanks, Solari. You were remarkably useful throughout that entire fight. For sure. But yeah, that was legitimately... That was the best centipede demon fight I have ever had. That couldn't... I, I, well, I'm sure there's some way to manipulate his AI to make that go better than it did. But I can't think of a way that that could have gone better for me. 
like only doing one of those attacks and then moving on, that was perfect. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. I think that's all he says. Why? Yeah, oh. unfortunately. This is when he kind of starts to go off the deep end. This is also when the capture starts to go off the deep end. This is not like, let me just apologize profusely beforehand. This area is terrible. I mean, like, it's bad enough to look at, but just having to watch it when you're not even playing it, when you're not even like, soon enough, I'm gonna get through this. The only saving grace here for all you people is that I am not going to fight a single one of these motherfuckers. I'm not gonna do anything here. I am going to get through this area almost as quickly as possible. I'm going to stop at the area that you get a treasure chest, and I'm going to stop at uh, the bonfire so that, you know, if I die at the bed of chaos, which is just kind of, honestly, I kind of feel like it's probably an inevitability. I'm going to cheat the hell out of that fight, though. I don't care. I tried to do it naturally the first time, and everything went as badly as it possibly could. So, fuck not cheating, I'm gonna cheat. Like, I have... Normally, I get the whole opinion of like, Eh, you didn't beat that boss fight for real, thus you're a bitch. Like, for this fight, no. There is no being a bitch, because this is one of the most terribly designed boss fights to ever exist in the history of video games. This fucking nonsensical, I always forget that's there, gimmicky bullshit is some nonsense. There's also two, uh, I mean, there's not much in this entire area. Oh, hi. For some reason, my snap judgment was like, how the fuck did one of those things get to me? Like, I thought that was its foot. Damn it. Actually, this one is, isn't this, this one's not even the illusionary wall, is it? It's not even the illusionary wall. The illusionary wall is the bonfire. Right there. Oh, shit! Hello. How are you? <gasps> So let me see, let me just let me just make sure I think my the direction I need to go is through Oh hi. Jesus that scared me. I think the direction I need to go is through these dudes that have noticed me. I'm gonna go around. <laughs> they're not worth they're not worth fucking with. I mean it can be kind of fun because they can they can hit each other. So it can be kind of fun to try to get them to kill each other. But uh this area is just not worth the risk of death. So yeah, over there, you see that uh that big tree limb that's going along the lava right there? But if you go all the way around that and behind it, at the very far end, you will find two divine blessings. But I never even used divine blessings in the first place, so who gives a shit about them? Yoink. And here's the bonfire. Damn, I'm actually gonna have to spend longer in Lost Isolate than I really want to. I don't understand, like, I get why the lava hurts the, you know, bottoms you have. Potentially, maybe I get the shirt. Why the fuck does it harm the durability of my helmet? That I don't particularly get. But yeah, uh, Siegmeier. Siegmeier's final, well, the final kind of thing you get specifically with him. There's one more thing that I'm going to have to do to finish up Siegmeier's quest line. But other than that one, we have to save him here. But I'm going to do that last. I'm going to open up the short. Jesus, really? Fucking, what am I... Ugh. It's half an inch on the ground. Lift your feet a little. Fucking hell. I don't know why I bother killing them. They were walking in the opposite direction. There's no need for that. I've just become a serial killer. This place has broken my mind. Even though I got through it hella quickly, this place has broken my mind. God, fucking tree limbs! Oh my god, really? That was the smallest possible piece of a tree limb. And you get hung up on it. You motherfucker. Drop it. Drop it. I don't know why. They drop, uh, they have the potential to drop red titanite chunks, which I have no use for. I'm not... Those are used in 
boosting. Actually, I'm not sure if they're well boosting fire weapons. To I would assume, uh, plus five through plus ten slash chaos weapons through plus one to plus five. So yeah, I'm gonna give this one attempt. I have never. If it's possible, somebody please tell me. If it's actually. Ooh, I wonder if this is like a hint. That, no, that's definitely. Actually, it might be. Fuck it, I'll try it. Nope! Okay, I'm done. I'm not even gonna try it again. That's just a ring of sacrifice. I have no need for further rings of sacrifice. I don't care about it. But I always just give it one shot, because why not? I'm already there. I, I don't think it's actually possible to get back up from there anyway. It probably is. I just don't pay attention. But I just. I give that one shot every single time, and I've never found a way to stay on that branch. The best I have managed to do is slip off right above the item and then just mash on A on the way down. And sometimes I grab it, sometimes I don't. Shockingly, most of the time I don't. These guys are such swell enemies. Oh shit. So yeah, Siegmeier is down that away, Down there. And we'll get to him soon. I just want to unlock the uh, shortcut real quick. So that if I do end up back in... Unfortunately, I have to go through a Titanite Demon first. And I will kill him. Because I'm a man. And that's what men do. Take unnecessary risks. That could waste a lot of my time. While I'm not even at full health. Why am I stupid? Please don't attack. Thank you. This wasn't even near me. I want to stay. You want to try and stay kind of around here in front of them, because typically, oops, I'm wrong. Oh, his tail hit me. That's cool. But yeah, standing right here, there's a danger that he could do that jumping attack, and I, I mean, it's probably just me. But I have a very difficult time properly dodging that jump attack, especially when it comes to like somewhere like this, where obviously. I have to worry about my footing. Like, yeah, I just gotta hold. I'm not gonna risk a dodge there. I'm just gonna hold that. Ha! <laughs> Voice cracking. Clearly, I need water. But yeah, like, I'm not. Unless I know, like, I have this kind of positioning right here. Well, not anymore, but where, like, my back is right here. Like, I'll dodge here, because I know behind me is the rest of the bridge. I got all the spacing in the world to work with. But when it comes to the fact where, like, I could potentially dodge and fall to my doom. Fuck that noise. Oh, fuck. Yeah, see, I'm, just, I'm gonna eat that. I don't care. It's worth it. That attack missed. Fuck it. Go for it. Yay, it worked! So, yeah, this one actually, just for those of you that might... Well, I guess you're gonna see it. Well, no, I'm not gonna rest here. I'm gonna just... If I die again, I'm gonna teleport back. Uh, to the Daughters of Chaos bonfire. And then I will end up back here and then you will see that this particular he's the only one in the game that oh i forgot this dude was here and he's gonna get away because that's what always happens hey my spacing worked out i didn't kill it though i gotta do it again yay i did it i'm learning aren't you proud of me people you should be be proud of me praise me don't praise the sun praise me why am i bothering to kill these dudes i have no i have literally no use for sun medals Literally, hi Solari, I'm gonna get this shit instead though. So yeah, these dudes just leave everybody alone. Was it all a lie? Have I done it all for nothing? Oh, my dear son. What now? What should I do? My son. My dear, dear son. Was it all a lie? Yeah, okay. Uh, so I wonder, uh, just thinking about it in terms of story, like what Solari's doing, what he's searching for. Oops, I guess it might be smart of me to open up this shortcut I was talking about. I might want to actually do that. So now I can get rid of the orange charred ring as well. Actually, you know what? The Claranthi ring is, ah, uh, no, it's not useful. It's not useless to me right now. Oh, you know what? It kind of actually is for what I want to do. I'm gonna go ahead and equip this. That'll come in useful in short order. You will see why. But yeah, so do you think he does that because he's like drawn to the light of the sunlight maggot? So he puts it on his head to try to see the sun. 
and then that's what happens. He ends up infected and shit. Is that how? The, is that the story excuse for that occurring? Alternatively, he could just you know walk into it and be sitting there and be like, "Oh, look at these pretty parasitic creatures that surely cannot harm me at all." And then it jumps on its head. And goes all, I don't know, alien on it, I suppose. We're gonna save Sigmire on the next video.